Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about a linear regression uh, computer output. Uh, so for the AP exam, you're going to be required to be able to read a computer output. Uh, for this mini tab, let's take a look at the important information to pull out from this. Um, so when you read this, you could see that this is a regression analysis between volume versus height. Um, not always are you going to be given this part in a computer output, but I could see that this is volume is equal to negative 87.1 plus 1.54 times the height. So this tells me that our x variable is the height and our y variable is the volume, which is our predicted. This may or may not be given on a computer output. So right now I'm just going to cross this out. The first thing you want to look at is to be able to find the slope and y-intercept. That is always going to be in your first column under coefficient. If you look at the first row, which is constant, under coefficient and constant, that is always going to be your y-intercept. This right here, negative 87.12, that is our a value, also known as our y-intercept. Um, how do we find the slope? The slope is going to be written directly underneath it. So underneath that is 1.5433, and that is our b value, which we call our slope. To write the predicted line, all you need is the y-intercept and the slope. Now next to the slope, which is the second row, it already tells you the name of the variable and that is the height. And if you look at the equation I crossed out, it tells you that the volume, which is our y predicted value, is equal to negative 87.1, which is our y-intercept, plus our slope 1.5433. So I can go ahead and write that y hat is equal to our y intercept, which is negative 87.12, and our slope is 1.5433 times our x variable, which in this case is our height. Now, as I mentioned before in class, you do want to define your variables. So when you write this equation, you want to already either state what y hat equals and what x equals, or you can write directly into the equation such as the volume. So I will write the volume with a hat is equal to, and I will rewrite the y-intercept, negative 87.12 plus the slope, 1.54. I'll just write to two decimal places since I'm running out of space, times, and I'll put in parentheses, our variable, which is height. So I will write in words height. That is defining the variables. So there you go. We have our equation from the computer output. Really, everything that goes after, we really are not going to be looking at for first semester. Um, so you can just ignore everything after that. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is how do we find our R if we are not given R on the table. So here we have two R squared. We have R squared and R squared adjusted. You can just cross out the R squared adjusted. We will not be using that on the AP statistics course. So looking at R squared, we can see that it is 35.8%. Now in order to find R, we need to take the square root of R squared. But when you take the square root of R squared, so let me write down R squared, I'm going to rewrite it from percentage, I'm going to switch it to decimal form. So I'm going to go ahead and write it as 0. 0.358. Now we know anytime we want to find r, if we know r squared, we can just take the square root of both sides. So I'm going to take the square root of r squared, and that will give us r is equal to 0.598. Now here's the important thing. How do you know whether r is positive or negative? Remember that the r always takes the same sign as your slope. So if your slope is positive, then your r will be positive. If your slope is negative, your r will be negative. So it's important to look at the slope. Now since our slope is positive, that means r will remain positive. All right, last thing I want to talk about is the uh, standard deviation right here of the residuals. So this S represents a standard deviation of the residuals, which in this case is 13.40. The standard deviation of the residual is on average how far the actual points are from the predicted points. 